guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the very first video of Vlogmas. Desi's just having the time of her life, she's very excited to film this video. Holly, your little cuddle, darling, look at her. <laughs> Are you excited? I have honestly been excited to film this video for 12 months since I filmed it the last time, a year ago. But this time it's a bit different this year as we're obviously in a different house. So it's going to be a bit of a different video this time. I'm so sorry I'm boring you puppy dogs. I am just so buzzing to get the house all ready for Christmas. You will have probably already seen a sneaky peek in the intro. But as it stands the house is very very plain and bare. I've put all of like, the autumn decor away, the house has been cleaned, so we're ready to jump straight into Vlogmas and kick things off with a good old decorate the house with me for Christmas video. So the pups are going to be on hand to help, aren't you darlings? It is a miserable day outside, like let me show you the weather. I feel like this is such a British thing to do, but it has just been raining. Look at the puddles in the grass there. Constant rain. I have been riding though this morning. I had a lesson early this morning out in the rain. So, oh my God, I can't tell you how nice it was to get back and have a shower and sit down to film this video. Okay, I have just switched the lights off in here because even though it's really dark and gloomy outside, I don't need all these lights above my head because that just causes unnecessary shadows. We don't need that. So... Before we kick things off, just to quickly let you know, the set that I'm wearing, oh my God, it's so snuggly. It was actually from H&M last year and I didn't get that much wear out of it. To be honest, I forgot that I bought it and it had the tags on when I went to like get it out. So yeah, I've had this for quite a while, but they always have sort of like similar sets on their website. So before we start and get all the decorations out, first things first, I need some breakfast. I need a cup of tea. I haven't had a cup of tea today yet and I am oh, spitting feathers. I need one. So let me show you what I'm gonna make me and Andy for breakfast because it's so cute. I saw them in M&S yesterday when I popped in and I had to pick them up. So for breakfast, I picked these up from Marks and Spencers. Little snowmen shaped crumpets, so cute. So I'm gonna do some crumpets with some bacon, brie and cranberry. I love bacon, brie and cranberry. And I was gonna do some sandwiches, but when I spotted these little snowman crumpets, I just thought they were the cutest thing. So I'm gonna make us a nice little brekkie and oh, I need to make us a cup of tea. Let me show you some new mugs as well that I got us. So I actually went into B&M yesterday um, to get something completely unrelated to what I ended up coming out with. But look at these cute little Christmas mugs. I've got one for me and one for Andy. So Andy's is the green and then mine is like the little white one. I just thought these were so, so cute. Don't worry, I am going to quickly wash them before I use them. So I'm just going to pop them here so I'll give them a wash. I also got these. I got four of these um, just for like everyday use up until like the end of Christmas but they had these gorgeous little mugs with like the Christmas trees on them and I just thought you know for when people come round or Christmas day when everyone wants their cups of tea they're just a really cute mug so I've got four of those so again I'm just going to go and give these a wash as well and now finally I'm so hungry it's time to start breakfast <laughs>
I think that might be one of my most favorite breakfasts ever. That was so, so good. Do you enjoy it, Andy? 10 stars. Where is he? 10 stars hidden behind the light. This is your first appearance on the channel for Vlogmas. I know, I'm so excited. He's so sarcastic. <laughs> I am. Are you not excited for Vlogmas? Yeah. Always a man of many, many words. But <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he's going to be very helpful today with the decorating process. We've just bought everything in. We were keeping it all in the garage. Oh God, I've got a bit of a sweat on from bringing some of that stuff in. Um, yeah, it's warm now. So we brought the stuff in from the garage and safe to say we were a bit shocked. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. I don't understand how we've got this much stuff. To be fair, we have got a, a two trees this year. True. But there is a lot of stuff. Stuff that we're shocked actually survived the move because there's glass, yeah. there's a lot of things, but Which yeah. That's why we needed two vans because... Yeah, well, we needed two vans. No. It was Christmas. Did we fill it three times? Did we have three trips? Twice, oh, twice. twice. Filled the van twice. So, the rain is still disgusting. But we're going to do the first Christmas tree. Which tree should we do first? Do we think in I here? I think we put up both trees and then we can decorate Yeah, them. then we'll decorate them both. I think maybe we bring the tree and get that done in here just to clear a bit of room out there. Yeah. And then we put the tree up in there. Yeah, fine. Should we do that? Fine. Let's get the tree up. Before we put the tree up, I almost forgot, we have started watching a bit of Love Actually. So I'm going to pop this on and yeah, we're going to get started. Actually, before we just put the tree up, let me quickly show you the state of our living room currently. Also for any of, hello Des, any people that are new to my channel or haven't been around for very long. I thought I'd give you a quick debrief, a quick layout of downstairs and show you what we're gonna do. So this is our back room, basically the kitchen, dining, kind of a bit like a chill area. Um, we're gonna have a tree up in here. So I think we're gonna have it sort of in that corner over there. Um, I do actually have a coffee table coming, but it's not due to get here until um, next week. So. That will be there as well eventually. So that's the plan for in here. Then if I spin you round into the hallway, and if we go into the living room, this is where the carnage is just happening. I don't understand how there's this much stuff. Like I'm genuinely baffled as to what is in half of these boxes, but it's gonna be a nice surprise. So yeah, this is a bit chaotic in here right now. But just to see the fireplace behind all the chaos, I think we're going to put the Christmas tree here, potentially here, kind of in the window, or we'll just stick it in the corner. Not sure yet. Going to see what looks best. Are you enjoying yourself? Desi loves having her little annual quality check of the decorations. Bolly, you were a tiny puppy last year. Do you remember? You were so tiny last year. You weren't really bothered, were you? I might try and find a clip of us putting the tree up last year so you can see just how big Bolly is now. <laughs> You're still a puppy though, aren't you? You're still such a puppy. Dogs, where are you going? Guys, like, I'm going on an adventure. I'll see you later. Yeah, this is going to take a little while. Shall we get the tree up? Shall we get the tree up? Will that be exciting? <gasps> Will that be exciting? Yes. Where's Desi gone? Desi's right over there. You right, Des? Two naughty puppies. actually because she's about to get boobs out and I'll get demonetized so love actually is going on pause for a little bit until this tree is up. One tree down, 
one to go. This tree, by the way, is from Cox and & Cox. And I also got the cute little tree skirt from Cox & Cox. Do you approve? Do you like it, puppies? Do you know what's happening? Couldn't care less, could you? What is this on the floor? Oh, that's off the tree. Hard. I know you'd like to eat it. You'd like to eat it. Are you come to help me as well? You sit there, good boy. My two little silly spaniel helpers. Right, guys, I am going to decorate tree one of two. Pups, I need to ask you to move. Come round here. Come round here. Good dogs. Right. I think if you've been watching my channel, you'll have seen a lot of these baubles, so I'm just going to kind of whiz through them. I've got a couple of like new additions. I grabbed just some like multi packs of baubles from BNN yesterday because I just needed some more gold. So they're just these sort of basic gold ba babbles, baubles. Also grabbed giant baubles as well. Oh, I did grab this cute tree topper from home sense thought it went with the theme really nicely just thought it was very cute and what else did we get you would have seen these these like gold floral bits to go in there um these are oh these are some gold baubles from next this kind of like multi-pack so i need to get into them uh i've got two packs of gold we've got oh my gorgeous brown and copper ones that you would have already seen. And then in here, I got these the other day from the garden centre, my little uh, pheasants. I need to keep the dogs away from them because they keep thinking that they're toys. And you can't eat them. But I feel like I need to just open everything up and then see exactly what I've got. So I've just laid out all of the baubles. So you can now see the sort of colour scheme that I'm going for. This kind of lovely brown, copper, kind of rustic-y vibe. I've got some little animals here. I've got my owls, I've got the pheasants. Um, this is the tree topper, a better look at it from Home Sense. Just thought it was very, very cute. And then I'm gonna add in some nice gold. So yeah, I'm gonna start popping all these on the tree and Let's just see what this looks like. I haven't really, um, haven't ever done a tree kind of these colours before, so I'm excited to see how all these go together. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Is officially one tree done. I was about to say one tree hill then. <laughs> it's about to roll off the tongue. Who remembers one tree hill? Oh my god, one of the best series ever. But I'm so so pleased with how this looks. Even Andy, who wasn't sure about my I think it looks good. You happy with it? I am. I think it looks really good. Desi hasn't moved. No. Desi, are you okay? Are you having a little lazy day today, sweetheart? <laughs> Oh, I'm so pleased with it. I think it looks so pretty, all the gold and the brown. Definitely one of my favourite trees I think I've done. And with the little owls in here, we've got the little pine cones, we've even got little gold pheasants. gold snowflakes. Yeah, we've got pheasants in here. And then the star on the top. So, so pleased with this, but we have, we have actually got one more tree to do before we finish the house. So I think it's time. We've got a tradition every year that when we decorate the house, we always open a bottle of fizz and have some Prosecco or some champagne. So we've got it at the moment in the fridge, getting cold. I'm feeling a glass now. You can see it's got even darker outside. What time is it actually? 20 to four. 20 to four. Oh, it's nearly four o'clock. 
definitely gonna have a glass of something and then I need to start on the next tree but I think I might do a little bit in here first before I do the next tree yeah I'm gonna do a bit in here right but first fizz just before I pop open a glass of fizz I thought I'd quickly show you these um cushions that I bought from H&M Home well not the whole cushions just the cushion covers because they don't come with the inserts I did have to buy them separately from Amazon but the actual cushions I thought were so cute. So I've got four, tell a lie, I've got six, but I've put two of them in my office on the sofa in there. So I've got this one that says Winter Farm, Warmest Wishes, lovely green one, and then this one. And then I did also pick this up a bit spontaneously from Home Sense. I just wanted a nice kind of Christmassy themed throw just to kind of have over one of the, um, I'll either put it on like over the arm or just over this bit of the sofa. But yeah, I'm gonna kind of just arrange these. I'm gonna keep all the other cushions on here as well. I just think this sofa looks better with more cushions and it just feels a bit cozier when it's a bit more like busy on here. But yeah, that'll look really nice. Oh, her ladyship has woken up, has she? Are you checking out the tree? Oh, my little darling, you have had a very lazy day, haven't you? <laughs> you are your usual self. Oh, this is just looking so nice. Annual tradition, having a bottle of rosé with champagne today. Andy, actually, you bought me this one, didn't you? I did. For hitting 600k on Instagram. So, I'm going to have a nice little glass. Right, ready? Ready. Nice. No, do not hit the light. <laughs> Woo! Okay. All right, cheers. Cheers, babe. Cheers. Cheers. Merry Start Christmas. Merry Christmas. Cheers, Start Susie. Vlogmas. Not finished though, have we, darling? Still got lots to do. Cheers, Bolly. Still got lots to do. Where's Bolly Boo? <gasps> Merry Christmas, Bolly Boo! He's <laughs> like, yes, please. Cheers. Yes, yeah, good boy. Also, gonna have a little Colin before I do this tree. I've got the little wintry ones, I just thought they were really cute. Thanks, Colin. Colin and Rose Champagne. Absolutely beautiful. Thought I'd quickly show you some other little decorative bits that a couple of these I'd forgot I actually bought. So, these I got last year from Etsy. So, I've got my cute Mrs. Claus gingerbread baking co to go on my kitchen windowsill over there. Also got this one, Farm Fresh Christmas Trees. These are both from the same company. I'm not sure if they're still on Etsy, but I'll double check and if they are, then I'll link them in the description box. But I think I'm gonna put this one on the console table in there. I think that'll look really cute. Also, I got these. They're like um, fake, just like fake books to pop on a shelf. Oh my gosh, can you hear the rain? So bad. But yeah, these just to pop on um, a shelf. We used to put these on our shelves, either side of our TV, but we don't have those shelves anymore. So I'm gonna try and find a little spot. Maybe these would look quite nice on the console table as well, or maybe in the living room. I'm gonna have a little look for these. Um, I've got my little mini Christmas trees. These were from the garden center. Um, another little tree, I think this was also from the garden centre at some point. I've got some candles here, all these candles are from Home Sense from a recent haul. These jars here with these cute little bits in, these do light up but I believe I need to add a battery in there. I think Andy bought some batteries so I'm going to pop a battery in these. I thought these were quite cute for on the windowsills. I've got a couple of snow globes. So I've got this one that I got this year and then this one with the little robins in that I got last year. These are my um, like candle arbor things that I had on the dining table last year, but I think I'm gonna go for a gold theme this year, hence why I've got the gold um, plate things there. 
So I don't think I'm actually going to use these this year. I might just pop them somewhere else in the house, maybe in the bedroom. So yeah, I'm going to find a little spot for these. But I think first things first, I think I might do my shelf. And then I need to start with the garlands as well. I haven't put any garlands up yet, so I need to do that. And I've been long to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh oh. La da la oh oh. La da la la oh oh. La da da da. Making our Christmas memories. I've been wrapping presents for you. I've been hanging marbles on the tree. And I've lit my house with Christmas lights. So you should come back home to me. Okay, so in here, it's still a little bit chaotic, but we're gonna roll with it. These are the baubles from our tree last year. So this tree is from Balsam Hill. We've had this for about, oh, about three or four years we've had this. Um, so yeah, this is the tree we had in our old house. We never used to have a tree skirt though, because the bottom of the tree was literally hidden by the sofa. So the tree skirt is from Cox and Cox. And these baubles, as you can see, bit of a different vibe in here. Gone for the kind of white and the kind of glass neutral kind of vibe. Um, most, most of these baubles are from the garden centre, apart from these, this multi-pack. Oh, actually, Andy. They are from the garden centre. Ah, they're all from, they're pretty much all from the garden centre. Oh my God. I forgot about these. I forgot about these little birds. How cute are these? So yeah, we've had a lot of these decorations for quite a while now. Well, probably about two to three years we've had these ones. So yeah, I'm gonna get started on this tree. These are the good times with you. Baby, this here is just gonna be you. Last year I actually picked up these little personalised stockings from Etsy, so obviously, oh, got one for me, got one for Andy, one for Desi, and one for Bolly. Just realised Flicker doesn't have a stocking. I suppose Flicker doesn't actually live in this house, mate. Desi's like, good. <laughs> Desi's like, thank God for that. <laughs> Maybe I need to get Flicker one. What do we think? Do I need to buy Flicker one? Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Desi's like, no, I don't think so, actually. I think we're fine as we are. <laughs> How cute is this as well? So this was a bit of a spontaneous purchase. I picked this up from Next Home when I popped to B&M yesterday. It's a festive spice candle, but it's not too strong. It's actually quite, um, quite subtle. But I just liked it because of the gold. So I think I'm probably going to pop that on the coffee table in here. I've not really got that much for the coffee table, to be honest. I think we've got a lot going on in here with the tree. We're gonna put the um, garland up over the fireplace. So yeah, I'm keeping it quite chilled in here. Let's go I just need to show you these cute little jars that I got from B&M. So cute, such a bargain. Look at the little detail on them here. I'm sure you could probably write on here like what's in the jar. But I just thought I could pop some biscuits in here and maybe just like pop them on the kitchen island or something. So I've got two of them and then to put in them, I know this looks a bit excessive, but I didn't know how many would actually fit in here and I wanted them to look quite full. So I got some mini Maryland cookies I thought cookies, maybe, you know, quite Christmassy. And then I've also just got some mini jammy dodgers just for something else to pop in here. So yeah, I am going to fill these little jars up. 
and see what they look like. Falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir performing all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy I genuinely can't believe how long it has taken us to decorate today It's now very very dark, it's just gone past dinner time but I thought, just while dinner's in the oven, I thought I'd show you a little tour of the house. Now it's all decorated for Christmas, honestly. I'm so happy I could cry. It just feels so cosy and it just, ugh, like, I can't explain it. It's just really, really cements that this is our home. I know that sounds really weird because we, when you're watching this, we will have lived here for five months. Yeah, five months. But I don't know what it is about decorating the house for Christmas that just makes it really feel like home. So, yeah. Let me show you around the house because I'm just, I'm so pleased with it. Okay, so if we start off in the living room, this is how this is looking. How cosy is it in here? I am just in love with how the fireplace is looking. We've got our stockings up here, either side. We've got our reindeer and the log burner on. Mr. Santa Claus down there. And then we've got the tree here. This is the same tree that we had last year with all the kind of like white and neutral like glass baubles on. So yeah, just a little candle there is from Home Sense. Both the reindeer there are both from Home Sense. That Santa Claus, I believe is from a garden centre. It was from years ago though. I think my nan um, got me this like years ago when we first moved into the last house. Um, the stockings with our names on, are from Etsy last year. This garland is from a brand, I think it's called Charlie's. I'll link it in the description box though. I wanted one that was long enough to kind of go over the top but also drape off a little bit. Um, and it's perfect. This is about 2.7 meters, so it's a nice big one. Um, and then over here, the blanket we've had for a couple of years is from Primark. Most of these baubles on here are from garden centers. Just ones we've kind of accumulated over the years. So yeah, this is the living room. I'm gonna take you through to the hallway. So then if we come into the hallway, just got a little Christmas tree down here. Don't mind our router box, just chilling there. So I did a little like garland display here on the console table. And then you can see just behind me there, we've got the garland with the lights on running up the stairs. So on here, we've got this plant pot with like faux arrangement in there. Um, that was already on here. We've got this snow globe here with the robins. That was from the garden center last year. Candle is home sense. This cute little farm fresh sign is from Etsy last year. And then this little reindeer here is also from, I think, yeah, from home sense last year. I'd really love to get a little a little um, like basket there just to put a little cushion in, but how cosy does it feel? And then if we come on through to the sort of kitchen and dining area, just got a little wreath there on the door. Come in here, I don't know where to start. Let's just pan round. So over here in the kitchen. And then if I bring you round here, we've got the dining table. And then round here, we've got the other Christmas tree. So I'll start off over here. You obviously saw me decorating this earlier. Oh, we have got a little star on there. That's from B&M. So all of these baubles, if you've been watching my vlogs, you'll have seen 
over the last couple of weeks me sort of collecting these from various places they these are sort of from the range from home sense garden centers um so yeah this is the first time we've ever done two trees and i am so in love with this i think the color scheme just works so nice there's loads going on oh i've got my little owl there and then I just like how when you get close, you just see like these little other details. And then when I spin you round, we will have a coffee table here soon, which is exciting. Um, but I've got the H&M home cushions here, just set up with the other cushions that we had, just to make this space really nice and cosy. I can't wait to chill on here and watch the holiday. And then this blanket we picked up from home sense um just about a week ago which was a brilliant find and then if i bring you up so over here this um garland we've had for a few years now was from the garden center i've just added my own um little like gold baubles just the baubles that were left over from decorating this tree these were from the garden center i want to do like a gold christmas table this year so I'm gonna do like the full table set up properly closer to the day and that'll be in like a future vlog because I wanna get some cool like cutlery and table settings and all of that stuff. But for now, this is from the garden centre and the placemats underneath. I'm not sure where these are from. These are a present from Andy's mom, but I love them and I love how they look all together with the like plate um, with the plate holders as well so these candles and this are both from the white company um, and these little candles here are from home sense and then if i bring you over here i love how this kitchen island is looking it's not like too over the top it's just subtle but i really like it so this little light up christmas tree i believe was from I want to say it was from Home Sense a few years ago. I've had it for ages. I used to have it in the windowsill in the last house, but I love how it looks just positioned in there. I've then just popped a few pine cones in here just to kind of fill the space a little bit. This was already here. And then over here, you'll see we did also pop a little garland up there because that empty space does look a bit dark in here when we've got like all the candles on. So it just lights up that area a little bit i really like it these cute little jars with the fairy lights in are from home sense candles again from home sense over here we've got like a little biscuit station so these are my jars from b m and as you can see i've filled them with jammy dodgers and cookies just super super cute I believe this is from the garden center again years ago had it for ages and then over here my little windowsill in the kitchen i've popped some pine cones on here again and um, this snow globe is from home sense this year another one of my signs from etsy this candle i just love how it lights up the little scene going around it's so cute that's from Next Home, that was from this year. And then these trees again from the garden centre, I think uh, a couple of years ago. So yeah guys, that is the full tour of the house all ready for Christmas. I am just so in love with how cozy it feels in here. I can't wait to have some dinner in here tonight. And I can't wait to just have our friends around have like Christmassy drinks around the island and just watching films in here. It's just so, so cute. And then even here, just having this as the first thing you see when you walk in, I just think it's really, really cute. But yeah, and then not forgetting the living room. I mean, that's just a lovely view, isn't it? Just sat here watching a Christmas film. Yeah, I'm very, very pleased. I love how everything looks. Obviously, we now need a nice, cosy dinner. So I've got some sausages, truffle mash from M&S, which is unreal. If you've not tried the M&S truffle mash, oh, so good. Some green beans and now, oh, just on time. Look at that, just in time. Chef Andrew, a little bit of red wine. Is that red wine gravy we've got? It is. Oh, look at that. And we're gonna 
set up camp here, eat our dinner. I've got a little can of Coke now. And then I love how we've got um, a fireplace in the other room, but we've still got a fake fireplace up on the telly. We're going to have our dinner and then get cosy on the sofa and we're going to watch the new season of Yellowstone. Again, if you've never watched Yellowstone, I genuinely can't recommend it enough. It's one of my favourite series ever. 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 First, dinner. Are you happy with the house, babe? I'm very happy with Are the house. Are you happy with the house? The, vision, the vision's come to life. I think it's the best we've ever done in this house. Best we've ever done. In this house. In this house. The only time we've ever done it in this house. I have officially slipped into a food coma. I've just collapsed on the sofa. <gasps> oh. oh gosh. <laughs> so was Andy. Surrounded by these cushions. Finished dinner. And now we're both just chilling on the sofa. Show our Christmas tree. Are you full? I'm so full. I feel like a Christmas pudding. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 Christmas puddings full. Look how cute it looks in here though. A nice Christmas tree. Watching a bit of Yellowstone. Where are the pups? Oh, <laughs> she literally did not want to come up <laughs> then. She's like, I'm here, mummy. Oh, oh, she Miss, see us. Miss Drama. Where's Des? Where's she gone? Are you being funny? Oh, oh, she's being funny. Where's she gone? Where's she gone? Where's Des? Oh! oh <laughs> Bolly. Bolly with his Christmas parsnip. Have you enjoyed decorating for Christmas, my darling? Oh, where's she gone? She's gone to get something. Anyway, guys, I am going to end this vlog here. So I really hope you enjoyed the first day of Vlogmas and I hope you tune in for all the other episodes. I'm going to be uploading every other day during December, so I've got a lot of Christmas content coming your way. Andy's involved in some of it. He doesn't know yet, though. He's <laughs> I've been bribing him to try and make an appearance in some of them. Ugh. So I'll be there. Oh, he's going to be there. There we go. We've got him. We've, she just agreed my day, right? We've got a verbal agreement now. There we go. But yeah, anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.